Hello everyone. I'm home. Welcome back to my channel. We're going to have fun today. It's time to start gardening and I'm so excited. I've got all kinds of plans for my garden. I'm going to do some new stuff this year and we're going to do some thrifted stuff here in a few minutes. I wanted to show you this beautiful building that's going up in my favorite garden center. It's called Danville Gardens. It's here in Danville, Illinois. And I come to this garden center all the time. And this year, instead of just being an extension of the original Danville Gardens and set up in the parking lot of a Pizza Hut or a, a farm store, they're building a new building and I just can't wait. This whole parking lot will be filled with the most beautiful baskets of flowers and all kinds of plants that you've ever seen. Now, like I said, they have an original Danville Gardens on the other side of town. And it's kind of out in the country and a little bit difficult to get to. So they started having these little pop-ups in town. And they've always just set up a little building where you pay. And then they have all kinds of, of uh, like, pallet sets set up so that they have all their flowers on it. And I, it's my favorite place to go. And they have markdowns and big, beautiful flowers that just get bigger all summer long. And they're just beautiful. So this is what it looks like and I'm really excited to come here this year and see what all they have and it, I think they're going to have a lot more. So I will bring you back when it's just full of flowers and you guys will just love it. Danville Gardens is my favorite place and we're going to be going there a lot so I hope you guys enjoy it. It's not too far from our home. After I left there I went over to Menards and started looking at all the seed packets. I get literally turned on by seed packets guys. I'm not real good at growing things from seed unless it's like morning glories and zinnias and things like that. I've not had much luck with like tomatoes. I usually just buy those but boy I just love to look at seed packets. I have some seed packets from my grandma's house from when I was a little girl and I've kept them for years and years so I keep my seed packets and then I went out into their garden center and they just they're loaded up up until about three days ago they didn't have anything so I picked up a few new things some perennials to put in my garden and these petunias were really pretty that are coming up and there were geraniums and there were they're just all kinds of things this pink geranium was really pretty and I found out they did well in shade and I'm going to need plants for my shade this year and then these ranaculus I think is how you pronounce them they're going to be my new roses I don't do real well with roses where I live so they're going to be my new rose and then I was walking through Menards and I saw this Came soap it was on clearance and I thought Came I haven't seen that in years and I picked it up and smelled it and it smelled just like I remembered then my husband and I were after we left Danville Gardens we saw a little thrift store that we had never been to and I'm telling you what this place was loaded and I would say more than anything they're just vintage 50s to 70s maybe stuff they had all kinds of kitchenware from the 50s to the 70s they had Tupperware everything in there just reminded me of growing up they had this Tupperware which I'm sure my mom had and my aunts had everybody had Tupperware back then and these cups and in the back there you can see some pictures and my mom had all that and then these were those plastic dishes I'm not real sure what they're called but they had an entire set of those then they had these sugar smacks cereal bowls which my brother used to eat out of and they had a lot of Pyrex and I have a friend named Nikki who collects Pyrex and they had a lot so I contacted Nikki to make sure she knew about it and then these aluminum canisters my grandma used to have these and honestly gosh canisters I don't know I don't know that they're that pretty but I guess in 1950 they would have been beautiful in your kitchen and these canisters I don't know when they would have ever been pretty but they had two or three sets of them it's funny how back then people probably just loved them. And they had a lot of vintage glassware, which I think they're called swanky swigs, some of them. And then these are the frosted ones. And then, of course, the wheat pattern. They had several of the wheat pattern. And my mother-in-law used to have this pattern. And they had not all sets but they had like a lot of random pieces but you know if you were collecting them and you needed a piece for your set they probably had it and when I was growing up I always loved these orange juice decanters and the little orange juice glasses and they're real hard to find they only had one in the whole store but I'd like to have a whole set of those sometime and of course the daisy glasses 
And then these, they were kind of a coral color. And I think they're insulated tumblers. I'm not real sure, but I remember seeing those back in the day. I'm not real sure what era they're from. And my Aunt Kathy had all of these cups. She had all these little wire racks sitting around her kitchen. And she had like three different sets of these. And I know she had those green ones right there. Everything in my aunt's house was green. And then she had some of these. She drank a lot of coffee. Her whole family did. And then she had these. They had a little bit of, I don't know, they're kind of ombre colored. And then I just thought everything in the store reminded me of growing up in the 70s. Everybody I knew had something like this. And this telephone, I don't think we had one like it, but I knew people who did. And they had several telephones at this place. And then they had these children's set of dishes the kind of like the corning wear pattern and I love children's dishes I had a set when I was little and I had a little stove like this when I was little I think mine was newer and I had an easy bake oven when I was little but this was in really good shape and then this little ice cream or ice cube container it was small it was only about six inches long for many ice cubes I guess and they had a lot of cookbooks a lot of the Betty Crocker new cookbooks and I have a lot of those in my store, and I sell them. People, there are people who collect every year. And then the beloved crock pot. Oh, my gosh. When those things first came out, my mom and my aunt bought one, and they bought them for showers and weddings. Everybody we knew had a crock pot. And, you know, my mom made the best spaghetti in the crock pot, and I've tried to make it like hers, and I cannot do it. And then... This was like a little tower they had made. It might have been like a little Eiffel Tower, and they had hung necklaces on it. And I thought this bracelet was really pretty, but it kind of looked a little plasticky because I like orange and gold in the fall. And then the ceiling in this place was beautiful. I imagine they bought these tiles looking like this. They weren't just, I'm outside, so you're going to hear cars going by. Um, I think they're newer tiles, but boy, they had a beautiful patina to them and then when we left we were walking down the steps to go to our car and I saw a bowling ball and then I saw a plate and I thought oh they dropped a plate but then I realized they were using these for decoration in their garden as you went down the steps and some of them were covered up but you know me I've got some plates I might be sticking a few little chipped plates into my garden so my husband and I went to visit the boys the other night and we stopped at a Goodwill and Guys, I do this for you. I do not need to go into any more Goodwills. I've got so much stuff. But I wanted to show you some of the pretty things they had. I thought this set of mugs was really pretty. They were kind of a brown coral, brown rusty color. And they had a little um, discoloration at the top that was supposed to be there. And they were a really pretty set. But I don't need coffee mugs. But I just wanted to show you how pretty they were. And they were real heavy. And they looked like they were a nice quality. Maybe a... A nice brand and then this little white pitcher I, I've always been going for white pitchers but I haven't bought any lately because I've got so many and then these little I call them chili bowls I have several they're old restaurant wear these are newer but I picked these two up because I broke a couple the other day but I have about 10 of these and we eat chili and vegetable soup in them it's just nice for like one serving and then they had this big banana boat I mean, it was big. It was frosted glass. I have a couple banana boats that are glass, and this one was really pretty, so I wanted to show it to you, but I don't know what else you would use those for because everything else would fall out. And then I was watching a video on YouTube the other day called Mother Time, and she had went absolutely bonkers over this. I can't remember what it's called. It's, oh, it's, um oh, I'm not going to be able to remember. I'll have to put it over the screen. Anyway... She found some at a sale at a little store, and it had they had baskets of it for 50 cents a piece, and she went nuts. So I went nuts when I saw this, and I thought, oh, there's that stuff I just saw this morning. And I put some in my cart, and then I thought, you're crazy. You don't collect this. <laughs> I love it, but I don't collect it, and I'm not going to start because I've got so much blue and white, and I've got so many dishes, so I didn't get them. But I thought it was funny. I saw them after I saw her video. And then I'm always a sucker for these little bowls. I use them to mix eggs up for my pies. 
and they're really nice because they have an embossed um, design on them and when you pick the bowl up you, you're less likely to drop it because it's got a good grip but I passed on these two because I've got several and then I have several of these old Florence really beautiful ironstone dishes that have the pretty little um, design around the edge and they're like scalloped around the edge and I just love them but I probably have 20 of them and I don't use them very often and I didn't need any more but this one was a really good one it had a little bit of um, discoloration and a little bit of crazing in it so I didn't get it and then I have a friend who collects Campbell soup stuff so she has me pick those up for her whenever I see them and I've never seen this one so I pick that up for her it was 99 cents and then these goblets I see them at Goodwill and thrift stores all the time and the reason I'm showing you this is because they remind me of the carnival when I was young we used to go play a game where you threw like a ping pong ball and if it went in one of these goblets you got it and when I was a kid I had a lot of goblets <laughs> and then they had a big collection of shot glasses and I mean, they were from everywhere and I thought they were all really cute. I looked through them and see to see if there were any special ones that I might have wanted for my boys because they collected them for a while. And I thought this Jim Beam one was really cute. It's only about two inches tall and it's shaped like a little boot. And I thought, boy, if you collected shot glasses, you can always find those at Goodwill and thrift stores. But this was a huge collection. And then I always say, if you need barware, go to Goodwill or the thrift stores because they always have nice sets of beer glasses wine glasses champagne and here's some more glasses that should have been in that first shop that i went to they're like i think they call them swanky swigs i'm not sure I, i'm not sure what the swanky swigs are but back in the day they called them that and these are just vintage tumblers but i thought they were pretty and then they had some more of the flowered ones I think these are sunflowers and then they had a huge set of the wheat pattern yellow china that my great aunt had and boy if you needed some pieces for to fill out a set of that you could find them there that day they had a lot of dishes and then they also had some wheat patterned glasses and pitchers so you could get the whole set now i'm kind of a sucker for these little things they're little votives i put them outside in the summer and these were red with gold interiors and they were just beautiful but i passed on them because i have so many and then i thought these red wine goblets were really pretty but they only had three and lord knows i don't need any more goblets so i passed on them but i wanted to show them to you and they had a lot of big vintage sets of dishes if you were into that i know a lot of people don't go for that anymore but these were pretty then here's one of the old restaurant ware bowls i call them potato salad bowls or macaroni salad bowls that's what they used to bring in the restaurant and then i thought this little mug was cute they were old and there was about eight of them and it had a really nice pattern but there again i don't need any but i just kind of wanted to show you guys the variety of neat things that i see when i go in the thrift stores and then I came around to the metal stuff and I found this little, it's just a little stand. I'm going to call it a mini cake stand for one of my tuna can cakes. And it was about six inches tall. And I got this, I went ahead and bought this because I love tarnished silver and this one was only 99 cents. They usually have them priced two or three dollars, which I think is too much. And then here's one that I did not buy because it was marked $4.99, but it was huge. And here's another one that was $4.99. It was huge. But I have several huge ones. And I don't shine them up. I leave them tarnished. And you can always find Wilton Cake Decorating Pans at Goodwill and the thrift stores. They're usually 2 to $5. And that's a pretty good deal if you like Wilton Cake Pans and you don't want to order from the company or buy from department stores. And then I found an original piece of art. It was a pen and ink drawing by a man from Gatlinburg. Tennessee named Vern Hippensteel. I didn't get it because I don't need any more artwork, but he had signed it and he had signed it again. So it was probably worth something, but I don't need any more artwork. And then I found these old ball jars. I don't know if they were real old, but Goodwill seemed to think they were and they had them marked pretty high, but I thought I'd show them to you because it was a nice representation of all the different kinds and sizes. And there's a random cake stand on the bottom shelf. You always see these plain cake stands. I think they're made by Libby. And I don't know who all they're made by, but I didn't get it because I don't need any. 
And then this big bowl was beautiful. It was kind of like a punch bowl. It was on a pedestal stand and it almost came home with me, but I got my senses about me and left it. But boy, it was pretty and it was all shined up. Sometimes Goodwill will put dirty things out and you have to use your imagination. And here's another little picture that was vintage and I didn't get it, but I don't have one like that. Then I found these real heavy metal candlesticks and I tried a candle in it to make sure it would fit and it did and I'm good I bought them they were so cute and then these are beautiful oh my gosh these crystal salt and pepper shakers and they were huge but they didn't have tops on them and I didn't get them because they didn't have tops but they were beautiful and then I thought these were pretty wine goblets, but they had such a flared top on them, I don't think they'd be easy to eat out of. And my son popped into the store to see his mom. He's, he tracks me, and he knew where I was. And I said, I probably don't need this, do I? And he said, nope. <laughs> so I didn't get it. And this I thought was funny. I walked up to the cash register, and this was on top of the record pile. And I used to have this Tony Orlando and Dawn album, and I listened to it all the time. And then I wrote them a letter one time, and they sent me this postcard of the three of them on it. I know you guys get tired of my randomness, but it's how I am. Now, before I show you the big thing I manifested, I want to show you my couch. My couch is a big, heavy, Victorian, dark green brocade couch, and I love it. But it's dark, and this is the pattern. This is one of the pillows. It's dark, and I don't mind it at all in the fall and the winter, but in the summertime, I'd like for it to be a little lighter. These are the pillows that go on it. I just pick up random pillows that, you know, have the kind of French country dark look. So this year I put a new couch cushion co or couch cover on it and it's beautiful and it's, it's not exactly looking great right now because it's a little bit wrinkled, but it's really nice for summer because it brightens up the whole living room and I just love it. So I want to, I, every year I put one of these on and I always take my pillows and cover them in a springtime fabric. Well, this little green pillow here is the one that's on my bed. And I've been having in my mind lately that I wanted some new pillow covers. And I wanted them to have a green background with pink roses. And this pillow has, the, has that, but it's the only one I have. So I've been looking at fabrics. And this is one I found online that I just loved. And this is another one. And i just been touching them in magazines and on Pinterest and dreaming about them. This is a waffle weave dish towel that I have that's got a green background and some pink roses and I've just been looking for this here's the towel and I just thought man if I could find some beautiful French country a little bit shabby chic but more French country a little bit more um this is a Martha Stewart tablecloth no it's a curtain panel that I bought and I really love the pattern on it it's got the yellow and pink roses but I manifested this for like the last two weeks I get these wild ideas in my head and that's what I want I walked into Goodwill that day and this was sitting on the bottom shelf by the glass it wasn't even where it was supposed to be it's a lady pepperell I think I'm saying that right fabric by the yard still in the package for it said fabric by the yard but there's no place on this package that tells how much was in it so I'm assuming that's a yard and it was $3.99 and I was going to go to Hobby Lobby and try to find my fabric and I knew I wouldn't find what I wanted and I'd end up with something that I didn't want someone had given $4.94 something for this on clearance and it's probably an older package but look at this fabric. Oh my gosh, it, I couldn't have dreamt up a prettier fabric for what I wanted. It's exactly what I wanted. And like I said, if I'd have gone into Hobby Lobby to cover these pillows, I would have ended up buying a different fabric that I wasn't real crazy about, and I would have given 10 to $15 a yard for it. So then I'm looking, and I find this teapot on the shelf. And I thought, it looks like the fabric. And I can't pass up a teapot, so I got it. And then I got the one tray for 99 cents, and I got the three candles for 99 cents. They were all wrapped up together because I use those outside on my candle holders when my husband and I sit out there. And look at all the stuff in my cart. I got my teapot, my little silver tray, my silver cake stand, and my beautiful Lady Pepperell fabric. I just went crazy. Everything looks so good together, and I got that little crystal um 
cruet for my friend Rosie. And then I saw these three drinking bottles that look like cranberry glass, but they're plastic. But I saw them. I don't like to buy that kind of stuff at Goodwill, but I had seen those at Walmart, so I know they have them. And then I found this rose bowl in what I thought was cranberry glass. It was $1.99. I just picked it up, took it home. And when I cleaned off the tag at the bottom, it said it was from Telefloral. So it was like one of those FTD things. But it's a little pinker than cranberry glass. But when you put it next to the cranberry glass, it looks like cranberry glass. And I just absolutely love it. It's in my kitchen window right now. And I'm going to fill it with roses. So I'm home now. And I've got my fabric by the yard still in the package. And I can't wait to open it to see how pretty it is. And I opened the package. And guys, it was two and a half yards of fabric. I couldn't believe it. And it's real heavy. This is it draped across my couch. And it's real heavy quality fabric. I think it's a little bit older because I looked it up and I can't find it recent. So I wrapped one of my pillows in it just to see what it was going to look like up against my new couch cover. And I just love it. And like I said, I had gotten a shower curtain recently, but I'm going to use this one. And then my office chair that I did recently with some thrifted fabric that was tall. I thought I wanted roses when I first did that. So I laid the rose fabric on there, but... I kind of like the twill better for my office, so I don't know if I'm ever going to recover, but I'll have enough if I decide to. So let's just take a moment and enjoy this fabric. I just absolutely love it. And then I'm at a really junky thrift store the other day, and I found these really dirty glasses. They were so dirty I didn't want to touch them, and I always like to run my finger around the rim of it to make sure there's no cracks or chips, and there weren't. So I picked a one up and I thought, well, I'm not buying one glass. I went to the other aisle and they had a whole bunch. They were 50 cents a piece, so I bought all they had. I don't need crystal. I have a problem, <laughs> but you guys have figured me out. I came home and shined them all up and I looked them up and they're called Lady Victoria Champagne Glasses. I found one set for $95 on one of the resale sites and I saw another set for like 24 and then I saw one set that was like eight dollars so we're gonna say they're worth a hundred bucks okay so anyway I was really tickled to have those even though I didn't need them and I want to thank you guys this has been so much fun I want you to follow me on Instagram at marcyjo631 and I thank you from the bottom of my heart for going on this little trip. I'm going to cover those pillows and I'm going to take my shower curtain from the couple videos before and cover my porch cushions and it's going to be great. So see you soon.